Hi, Cappies. This is Patricia Luna, and welcome to your March 2019 reading. I'm happy that you're all here. Uh, whenever you see this reading will be the right time for you. Today, I'm recording this on the 333 portal that we have here, and it's such a beautiful energy to be in. And uh, before I start the reading, I do have a few announcements to make. For those of you that are looking for a one-on-one -on -one personal reading, I am currently booked till June of 2019. Normally, my clients, not only online, but also in my community, there is a daily basis of people reserving my uh, my have reserving with me so if you do want to reserve you could go on my website which is at cmccollective1111.com and just go into the products okay and then purchase whatever reading you want if you want to reserve for the month of june of 2019 okay and for others of you uh if you want also email readings that's the same thing you can do okay um but I am currently booked at this moment with email readings. I'll be available only in the month of April of 2019 for email readings. For those of you that want quick questions, you could come and follow me on Instango if you have an iPhone or an iPad. It's uh, www.instango.com cosmic slash cosmic moonchild tarot 1111. And um, so there's questions there. And for those of you that have probably have asked questions there and I haven't come yet forth, it's because it's not in divine timing to do so. But when I will be on uh, Instant Go at the end of the month. So, and for others of you, um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Patricia underscore 1111. So I also go there uh, to do live free mini readings. Um, and I haven't done so yet, but I will in the near future, like very soon, like at the end of March, April and May. And for those of you that want to follow me on Facebook, it's Patricia Luna. So uh, I also want to discuss to you that I'm not just a psychic medium or a tarot reader. I am a multidimensional being, just like all of you that are here. We're all here on this earth. Uh, we're transcending. We're ascending. I'm sorry, not transcending, but we are going through our ascension pro uh, ascensions right now. And... Um, we all have to remember why we're here and all of you have missions here on earth okay maybe you don't always remember them but uh, just know that uh, you know uh, capricorn uh, that you are most valued uh, uh, beings uh, and a lot of people need the capricorn energy um, maybe other people don't know but capricorns are so solid solid people you're very solid and loyal and um, just amazing beings uh, as i can say and I'm here to help the collective, and I've been helping the collective um, since I was born, and um, and I continue to do so with unconditional love. And what I wanted to say about that was that so a lot a lot of times when people come on my channel, um, my predictions and I'm very accurate. They come for predictions and accuracy, I guess. Some of you come for confirmations. Some of you come to see how it is that you are blocked and you want to see how to unblock yourself to get to where you want to go. So I'm here to help the collective to bring uh, unconditional love, peace, and balance. And um, and if it, and I'm very happy to be here for you, Cappies, because you, you have been giving me so much um, love and support since I started. And um, I'm, you know, I'm very grateful for all of you. And I always welcome all your messages that you leave me on. And in the last couple of months, I've been receiving so much email from Capricorns. It's unbelievable um, where you're telling me that, you know, everything that I uh, stated in every week happened for you. And I'm so happy for all of you. For others of you um, that, you know, are still not getting to your blessings, you have to understand that, um, you know, in linear time, I have to use the month of March, right? Because now we're in the month of March and I'm giving you a reading in March. But in our time, there is no time. So sometimes it could lead to the next month or to the next month or to the next month. But just know that this year of 2019, Capricorn, it's your year. And I feel that for money-wise, for love, everything is going to come in together. But in divine timing. It's not in linear clock, okay? So I just wanted to let you know that. So now, uh, when I started getting into your energy from last night till today, I wanted to um, record this uh, at uh, 3 o'clock last night, but uh, my internet went down. <laughs> that's mercury retrograde for you so mercury retrograde is in the house and it's been in the house now it's in the shadow side in the month of february and it will be going uh, retrograde on march 5th and it's going to be in uh, the pisces season so there's uh there's a you need time to reevaluate re-look at things uh things from the past are gonna come up 
in your mind. You know, you're going to be doing something and then you're going to be thinking about something else. And all of these things will come to play or come to the surface for you in the month of March. And the month of March is nothing about rushing about anything. You need to take your time. Just uh, even signing papers or anything like that is not permanent. You have to understand uh, with this Mercury retrograde. So Mercury retrograde is from with us from March 5th to the 25th. Okay, or the 28th, depending. I think it's 25th, but I could be wrong. It could be the 28th, I think. And there's also this uh, this Neptune, uh, Mercury, uh, Mercury being in uh, retrograde in Pisces. And so there's a lot of things that, uh, you know, um, will come to you. You know, if new things, new opportunities or new projects or anything new that comes to you, uh, I would like take a moment to think about it, okay? Because uh, this Neptune energy in being in Mer Mercury retrograde, there's going to be a lot of like lies and deceptive around you. So you really need to be concerned, uh, concerned, but also um, just be aware, okay? Uh, if it's a, if it's like, like a new opportunity, let's say it's a, it's a, for some of you, you're going to get a new job, then go ahead, get a new job. But just remember, it might be transformal in the next couple of months, okay? Um, I also see that... Um, I also feel what they're telling me strongly here for you is that whatever you're doing, if you're whatever work that you're doing, whatever project that you have been working on in the month of May, March and April, okay, there's going to be like a promotion for some of you, money coming in for others of you. Also, there's a decision that you're going to have to make, okay? Uh, now, they're, they're showing me the yin and yang. And so for me, what I'm feeling with the yin and yang is that for some of you, this has to do with divine partner, a.k.a. twin flame. And this is something that happened in the past where maybe you were angry, uh, Capricorn, a person left. I don't know. There was, I feel that that was like something that is not finished, okay? Something is not done with this divine partner or twin flame, it, whatever you want to call it. Okay, but I call it the divine partner because it's uh, it's divine love. Okay, and, and there's and I do feel that some some of you uh, will come to together in month of March. Messages will be coming like this person is coming back, or maybe you Capricorn are going to be sending messages. Doesn't matter, but I do have an energy that's coming in very swiftly. And uh, to give you information, I feel that the information is going to be very loving as well. I don't think it's going to be just like, it's going to be truthful, but at the same time, it's going to be loving. And there is a, there is a decision that you will have to make, okay? Now, uh, normally, um, okay, what else do I want to say? Cause, okay, your throat chakra, um, your throat chakra needs healing. So for a lot of you, you need to wear a lot of blue or uh, buy a crystal called lapis lazuli, okay, which is a very important. You could find it. Um, you could find it on uh, Amazon, or if you have stores around you that have crystals, then go to uh, you know online or or online or in a store near you. So I feel that you need to work on um, on your throat chakra. It's very very strong. Okay, that you need to work on your throat chakra. So in the background, it's not my music. It's uh, so it's uh, a music I put for you because the, the guides and my spirit guides and my angels told me, well, they need. So while you're listening to this video, um, while you're listening to this video, the, uh, the frequency that's coming out from there that's bringing to you will help you clear that throat chakra because I feel like you need to speak your truth. You need to speak. OK, uh, it's important. Uh, but the month of March, I don't want you to hurry to do anything. Just, I say that to every sign. It's very important that in the month of March, you just take your time, you reevaluate, re redo, maybe there's patterns that you need to change, whatever it is, uh, Cappies, I know that you could do this, okay? Now, let's get to the reading. I have my uh, ringing, a uh, singing bowl, which is the crown chakra. And I, I use this because it's so important uh, whenever I do, I do, I use this on a daily basis, but when I do the readings is that I clear your energy, I clear you, whatever you're feeling inside of you, and I clear on also on my side, okay? So I'm going to ring the bowl twice, and when I ring the bowl, all you have to do is take a deep breath and just let it go, okay? Beautiful. Here we go. And then we're going to take some spray. I'm going to spray Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, my cards, and you, and a bit of me. And this is called the Violet Flame. All right. So 
I feel that um, there's also an opportunity for work coming for you. There's an opportunity coming for work or someone's coming in to help you financially. For those of you that are going to school and you ask for a loan or some kind of something, someone to help you with finances is coming in for you in the month of March as well. Now, normally when I start my videos, you all know this, I always have three or three decks of different Oracle cards. Last month when I was going into March, my spirit guides told me I have to get two new decks. So they guided me to get two extra decks. So you're going to get five Oracle cards at the end of the reading. How you do this is that you ask your questions in your mind. Okay. Or if you don't have questions, it doesn't matter. Just see what if there's an answer that you are waiting for in the Oracle cards. We're going to start with uh, the Romance Angels. You have three cards. And this is deck number one, the Romance Angels. And what I placed on top is a crystal, rose quartz pointed, okay? So that's for deck number one. For deck number two, I chose Ask Angels, okay? Ask Angels, and I used Amethyst. For deck number three, I used the Keeper of Light. Keepers of Light, this is the new deck. Three cards, Keepers of Light. And that's also a rose quartz, but it's a flat one, okay? Then my new deck that I got here is Ask uh, Archangel Raphael. So Archangel Raphael is with a clear quartz. And le last but not least, I got Archangel Michael for you. Also three cards with the black obsidian. So you could choose by crystal. You could choose by deck. You don't have to choose anything. It's up to you. You choose one deck, two decks. It's up, it's up to you, okay? And this is going to be done at the end of the reading and I'm excited because I don't look at them when they come out. Of the, you know, when I shuffle them because I got into your energy. I liked also the the surprise at the end. You know, I like surprises and see what the what the archangels and are saying to you and the angels. Okay, so we leave them here. So now I'm just gonna shuffle the cards a bit more here. And I feel that you are gonna be. There's a new beginning taking place for you. There's a new beginning taking place for you. And and it's not just one new beginning. It's like I see number four for a lot of you, number four. So there's a lot of new beginnings happening, taking place for you. And you are manifesting very quickly, Capricorn, okay? You're manifesting. Some of you are manifesting your soulmate. Some of you are manifesting your twin to come back, okay? And you have all the elements. The elements are all there for you. What are the messages? But I feel that the month of March, you're going to have to go within to find your answers. Your answers are not outside of you. You are the only one that can un unlock that key inside of you. Okay? And, um, and not, not to worry. Okay? Because um, you don't need to worry. Because if anything is destined to come, it will come in whether it's Mercury retrograde or not. Okay? Uh, I took out three challenge cards for you as well that I'm going to show you right now. And I took out three... Um, Archangel cards also. Uh, this deck is Ar the Archangel cards, uh, tarot deck. Uh, for the theme, okay, so what are your challenges for the month of March? Hmm, number 30, the garden and the gate. Now, as soon as you see this, you're going to know that this is you, Capricorn. Okay, a lot of you have just been, you're just waiting. You're, you're collecting all your information. Uh, you know what you have to do, but some of you have a hard time passing this gate to get to the other side. So you're just waiting for the perfect timing, which is in divine timing, okay? So this is what it's showing me here. But I feel that some of you are not happy just waiting. You know, you're just waiting. I don't know what, some of you, okay, I understand. There's nothing to rush in the month of March. This could also take place in the month of April, okay, for some of you. But there's going to be a time that you're going to have to pass this through this gate and go find your happiness. Then I got number 48. Uh, okay, because it's upside down. <laughs> okay, Angel of Balance. So the card is upside down. That's like, okay, so uh, number 48. This means that you will have to somehow for the month of March... Find your balance within the world. Find the balance within yourself. So what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to put the card upright for you. Okay? And, and I, I did this on it as so it is for you. That you will find this balance within your life. And I think that this is going to occur to you around the new moon in March. It's going to happen for you where you're probably going to feel off a bit because you're Capricorn. Capricorn is an earth sign. And right now the energy is in Pisces. 
and we are Pisces uh, season, so it's all waters, and so it's normal that you're feeling off balance. So try to find a way to balance yourself, maybe exercising, going and do yoga, taking a Reiki class. Uh, for some of you, grounding, going outside and being near the ocean. Um, going in nature or doing meditation. If you're looking for a meditation, I recommend I recommend highly uh, Steve Noble on uh, YouTube. Okay, I'm a big follower and fan of his. So the next card you got is that's your challenge. Oh, again upside down, 41, 41, and this is the uh, seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. Uriel. Okay, so this is upside down. This has to do with your crown chakra. Maybe some of you are getting activations because we are the 3-3 three, three portal today. And that's a beautiful portal. You could read about it. You could just Google 3-3 three, three portal spirituality and it's going to tell you what it, what it is. It, it's a huge event. Maybe your crown is not feeling good. Maybe you're releasing stuff from your crown for others of you. I feel that you will need a healing in your crown chakra. So that's also something that you need to look at. Okay, throat chakra and your crown. Okay. So I will put the card upright for you because this is going to be a challenge for you this month. So I will put the cards up, up, up like this, the Angel of Balance. Eat a lot of purple, uh, purple elements like purple uh, blueberries, uh, blackberries, uh, beets, uh, you know, um, in vegetables uh, or even like uh, fruit in uh, grapes, purple grapes. Try to eat more uh, and wear the color purple. So you're gonna have to wear the color purple, and the color blue, uh, a lot. Okay, and uh, for or and uh, for the month of March. Now, what is the theme for you? Okay, you got the nine of Michael. So Michael, Archangel Michael is coming in to tell you that you don't need to worry. Okay, a lot of you are not probably sleeping at night. You like to stay awake at night. A lot of you need. I do believe a lot of you live near like. Uh, mountains and a lot of forest, okay? And you see a lot of fireflies and dragonflies always around, okay? But you're, 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 you're thinking too much in your mind and your worry is really unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you want. So instead of focusing on your problems, Capricorn, focus on what you want, okay? Don't focus on what you don't want. Focus on what you want and what you want, whatever it is that desire that you have, focus on that, okay? And you're going to see that the universe is going to bring that to you. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels, okay? So uh, maybe also the energies also, because we've been going through a lot of uh, energies uh, from the universe and the planets, and that's why maybe some of you are waking up in the middle of the night. That's the guides and the angels just trying to make communication with you. Okay, uh, and um, so do not worry about anything, okay? Like, talk to your angels and talk to your spirit guides. You got the Ace of Michael. Ace of Swords. This is wonderful. The Ace of Swords comes in to give you knowledge, to give you the truth, for you to speak your truth as well, okay? Because a lot of you have, have been holding back for a long time. Because, you know, Capricorns, you don't want to hurt anybody. I understand. You don't want to... You don't want to hurt other people's feelings. You're worried about what they're going to think, what they're going to say. But you have to use that voice, okay, to set things straight. There's not going to be a black cloud following you anymore. You're going to see things clearly. You're going to wake up one day and some of you are psychics already. Some of you are already psychic. You don't even know it, okay? But you're going to be seeing things so clear, okay? And it's uh, and you're going to be getting a lot of new ideas as well. So there's wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. Okay? And last but not least, you've got number 11. So I already have like 111 here. This is Archangel Ariel. She shows up twice in your reading. She's saying some of you are dealing with a Leo. Okay? And others of you, your health is going to get better in the month of March. But I really feel that it's going to get better after the, at the beginning of the full moon in Libra, March 20, 21st, going into April is where I feel that you're going to get your strength back. You're going to get your power back. Okay. But right now you just have to ride the waves as they come along and try to rest as much as you can. Okay. So it says strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence and forgiveness. Okay. So now let's go into your reading. I'm going to cut the cards in three. There's an offering coming for you for love. I really feel it. There's someone coming in to offer you a cup of love. I feel there's also the person. There's a person from the past. Because Mercury retrograde, whether you like it or not, 
<laughs> for some people, they don't want, some people, I know some of you capis was like, you're saying, I don't want to talk to nobody from the past. I'm done with them. I understand that. But if someone comes back, maybe it's just a closure for some of you or something that you need to say to that person, okay? Because that's very important like that. You could have your closure. But there's someone here, I don't know who it is I'm speaking to. I feel that there's something that in the, from the past, something that had a tower moment in the past that you cut off somebody or somebody cut you off and bad things were said. I feel that someone's coming back to deliver you a message and it might be rocky at the beginning, but it will end up really beautiful. It all depends what you do with it because I do see a new beginning. I do see someone coming back. Okay. I'm going to lay out the cards and then I'm going to tell you what they are. Now, if this reading does not resonate with you, come back at the end of the month and watch it again. Okay? Because maybe for some of you, this is already happening for you. Okay? And so for others of you, uh, you're going to have to come back. Always uh, look at your rising, your moon, and your Venus. Because Venus is the planet of love. It's so important. Okay? And uh, if you don't have a, uh, a... You don't know how to get a chart. All you have to do is Google free bird chart and it's going to give you a couple of links the two links that i like is astro.com and cafeastrology.com and all you have to do is put on your birthday your year you're born uh the time if you don't have the time uh and don't second guess the time if you do not have the time then put 12 p.m for standard time and that will give you a list of all the 12 signs and it's always always good to have that with you where you know where your Mercury is, where you know where uh, your Saturn, your Pluto, your, you know, uh, just remember also that Capricorn uh, went into, uh, Saturn went into Capricorn, where it's, it's, the, it's where your the home is for you. And it's, I'm so happy that Capricorn is back in Saturn because it, it was really tough in Sagittarius where it was before. And I'm sure a lot of you agree with that. And um, it's also, Capricorn is like, it's a single way. It's like you you have to go a certain way. It, it, it helps to really do things in the way that it has to be done. And uh, it's also in the south node, which is like releasing any anything that's karmic, that which is also great. And then there's the Cancer north node, which, which is peel, peeling off layers of you bit by bit. These layers are just being pulled away like that your true self could come to play. And that's that's beautiful, okay? It hasn't been, it, the, the transit between, uh, when the transit of Capricorn and Cancer come together in the North and South Node, it's very tough. It's not an easy transit, okay? Okay. Wow, he gave me all the cards, by the way. <laughs> this is the Capricorn way. <laughs> okay. Normally, I, I have to take out one more card. One more card. There we go. Okay, I'm going to show you the cards, okay? Uh, that you could see them in the way that you feel to see them. Remember, I do not use the cards like other tarot readers. I channel messages. It's, for me, there are tools, okay? So you got the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Five of Swords, okay, for the first week. In the second week, you got the Page Oops. The Page of Pentacles, uh, the Page of uh, Cups, sorry. The Four of Pentacles and an Ace of Pentacles coming in. Wow, I really love your reading. In the third week, you got completion. Yes, because I'm, I'm very happy to see this. Followed by the Temperance, reversed. Followed by the Three of Wands. In the last week, you got the Queen of Cups, the Hermit, and the Nine of Cups. What's under, what was the last card underneath was the Eight of Cups. Some of you are leaving a lot behind because that's, there's that one cup that you, you really, really want because you think that this cup will bring you that completion. Yes, it will for some of you. And a lot of you are walking away. We'll be walking away maybe from a pattern, from an era in your life, or from things that, would, that were, uh, you know, that you had to, there was a lot of challenges for you, okay? And... Oh my God, the divine is coming in to bring you passion, Ign like something is going to ignite inside of you, 
Okay, passion, creativity. This is all about creativity as well. If you're working some, on something creative, month of March will be great for you. The sun is shining, okay? Uh, the sun is shining, is helping you with this. This is Jupiter, Jupiter in Sagittarius that's helping you to get this on as well, okay? For others of you, you're dealing with a Leo, 100%, or you have Leo in your chart, okay? You have a uh, sun or, um, you know, sorry, not sun, your, your moon is in Leo, okay? Or your, your rising is in Leo, okay? So now, uh, I also got three cards extra to show you what's going to happen in April, but I'm going to show you these cards afterwards, okay? So now, what I see here is that there's a new beginning for a lot of you in love, okay? In the first week. For so some of you, okay, I know because you have told me already you got married in February and you're starting your new life in March with someone, others of you, you're going to be falling in love. There's a, there's here, there's a uh, new beginnings of love in every which way possible for you. Okay, even if you have children, children are happy. Some of you are dealing with a um, Leo, uh, Aries, or Sagittarius here. This could also be you in your energy, someone that's passionate, loving. But there's also someone around you here. There's a five of swords of energy of someone uh, trying to get trying to hurt you or backstabbing you or lying to you okay uh, and you're not seeing things clearly in the first week about a person or situation in the second week you got the ace of cups someone coming in oh the page of cups sorry a page of cups someone coming in offering you love this is a friendship it's the beginning of something here for some of you others of you you being um okay uh i see there's a stability here for you but at some point i feel that uh, you're holding to you're holding tight to your pentacles and that's uh, by you holding tight to your pentacles you're telling the universe that you're lacking money and so that's the universe is going to keep showing you or giving you that so you need to release that and i'm not saying that you have to spend all your money in your bank account i'm not saying that for those of you that have uh are having a time but you need to release the fear of not having enough this is what i'm saying uh it's also picking up that your heart chakra has to be opened and released and healed there is something that's coming in. The universe is coming in and bringing you um, a gift, money. This could be a promotion. Um, maybe for some of you, your taxes, you're going to get money off your taxes. But this is something that's coming in in the second week. Going to the third week, we have completion. So you have, you, there's something that you did here. You are comp you completed an era and this was a long era. This could have been up to 13 years, 14 or 15 years of hardships, uh, one obstacle after another. And this, and you did uh, have a completion here, which is new beginnings are going to take place for you. But they're not going to take place right away on the full moon in Libra. It could go to the next month and to the next month. Just remember that. You got the temperance card. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius. This could also be you. Um, that you are becoming impatient in the third week of March. This is something long-term. I think whatever that's coming in for monetary will be long-term for you, okay, where you're going to start investing your money in stocks or in certain places, or you're just going to invest, and some of you are going to be traveling. Some of you are thinking about where you want to go. In the last week, you have the Queen of Cups. This you could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. For some of you, there's someone that you're going to have completion, new beginnings, I feel some of you are going to be, someone is going to ask you to get married or you're just going to be moving in together. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo, okay, as well here, I could see, or this is you that needs to go within yourself to find your answers. And the Nine of Cups, talking about wishes coming true, okay? So now let's go into their reading. Why? And I'm going to just take a few cards out here to see because your cards are really simple here. What are the messages for Capricorns, my beautiful Cappies? You know, I adore you all very much. You know how I feel about you. Yeah, the Ten of Cups with the Two of Cups. Someone's coming in or someone already came in. Because you have to remember Mercury, okay, uh, being retrograde. The shadow side started already in the month of February, the last week of February. So for some of you... There's a new beginning here. This could be a soulmate person coming in, uh, wanting the same thing as you, showing you love, wanting the same type of, um, you're in the same kind of energy here. Soulmate, two people coming in together. Some of you are married to this person, have children. And maybe those of you that are married, 
It's beautiful. Beautiful times right now. For those of you that are single, there is someone coming in. Hmm. Beautiful. I'm so happy to see this. Look, when I asked why the Queen of Wands is here, they showed me judgment and the, uh, the High Priestess. A lot of you are this High Priestess. A lot of you are going out there to get readings from a high priestess who is a very an old soul, okay? And for but or this is also I feel this is you to trust your intuition. You have a lot of wisdom. It's not the first time you've been here on earth. You've been here many times, you have many deja vus. That's what it's gonna happen for you. You're gonna be seeing a lot of things. Revelations are gonna come to you in the first week of uh maybe through dreams and visions, okay, of March and or and April, I will say. Uh, judgment something's coming in this is something your destiny okay you're destined for if it's work if it's money if it's a person it it's destiny archangel is coming in blowing the horn it's your time okay you paid your dues your time is coming in I'm so happy to see this i'm missing a card here now where's the card okay <laughs> the queen of cups where did i put the queen of cups Sorry about that, but I, my card just disappeared. Okay, there she is. Okay, let's go. Now, um, this is very beautiful in the first week, but I don't like the energy of the Five of Swords, and I'm sure you don't like that either. Um, let's see what's... Uh, this could be also... It doesn't have to be love. It could be like family members, friends. Just remember, March is a lot of deceptive energy. So let's see what the Five of Swords is about. Why is the Five of Swords here? Okay. Well, some of you may be dealing with a uh, an air uh, an air energy. This could be uh, Libra, um, Aquarius, and Gemini. Okay. Mm, I don't know about this energy. I don't like particular this energy. Now, uh, if this is a person that you're dealing with, okay, it doesn't have to be the sign. But if you're dealing with someone that has like an air quality about them, where they just bluntly tell you things and. Uh, or uh, or they they're not very, they're very sharp with their tongue, okay. Uh, this is not a very good energy. Or this could also be you that you are in this state of energy, meaning that you're not going to let anybody step all over you anymore, Capricorn, right? And you're gonna you're gonna take the 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 energy of the Queen or the King of Swords, where they, they come in and they see the truth and everything. They're not gonna take any more BS, okay? And they're gonna speak their truth, but it has to be done with love and kindness, okay? You don't have to yell or shout or scream, or anything like that. It's, it has to be done with because you don't look. Uh, the angels are still there, right? Look at the beautiful angel on the, on the on. Um, you are guided by your angels, okay? So. You need to be careful. I'm just going to ask a bit, another question here. And what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to take this Five of Swords and put it reversed. I do not like it because it's, it's, it's the only card I see. Well, there's another card here too. But there's uh, there's only uh, this card. I do not like it. it. I don't like people taking advantage of anybody. So I'm going to put it reversed that in the first week, going into the second week and through the whole um, March, that this kind of energy stays away from you. And I'm going to knock on it, okay? But I'm still going to ask one more question here. I want to know more about this person or, or what the situation is here. Why is the Five of Swords here? Or the Queen of Swords? What is... What's going on here? Show me. Well, what's going to happen is that I feel that you're leaving something behind. Something new is coming. There's an ending and there's something new coming in right away. I've got the Cancer card, the Chariot, Okay. Cancer, Sagittarius, okay? Uh, I feel that you are cutting people out and you are not taking anybody. You're not taking anyone's um, BS anymore, okay? Um, and you're going to be moving forward from um, uh, in the month of uh, the first week going to, into the second week. Uh, this is, means that you're ready to take off, okay? Yes, the, the road is going to be bumpy in the front, but you're ready. I think that you're going to be reclaiming your power in the first week going into the second week. Or maybe some of you are dealing with a cancer. Or maybe you have moon. Your moon is in cancer. Trust your intuition. 
You know that something is coming in for you. You feel it, Capricorn. Oh, I have to forget. Before I forget, <laughs> I almost forgot to tell you. The song that uh, they gave me for you is from Bon Jovi. And it's It's My Life. Now, I know that there's also another group that sings that song. And it's called The Talking, he Talking Heads. And it's about It's My Life, too. So you have to listen to bo both versions. And then... Uh, Yes, like, uh, listen to a song. Maybe it's going to tell you something. Listen to the lyrics. Use the song to uplift yourself is what I'm picking up. And there's also another song, which is from Toto, and it's called Africa. Apparently, there's a verse in there for somebody out there that needs to hear that song. Okay, so in the second week here, I got the Page of Cups. This could be a child that you're dealing with if you have a child they are doing well. The children are happy. There's a completion here with a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. Or for some of you, this is a friendship coming in or something that's starting again as a friendship. You know? Uh, and in the first week, second week, you have the Magician, which is beautiful. You have the Infinity uh, infinity symbol here. For others of you, uh, this could also mean number eight is important to you. But right now you have like 11-11 on the ground. 11-11, okay? And you also have 1-1-1, one, 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 which is beautiful. Now, uh, and I see a lot of tools as well. Okay? Now, you have all the elements to create whatever you want. Whatever you want. It's a law of attraction. Keep your, posit keep your thoughts very positive. Do not go back into the pattern of thinking negative or getting stuck in something that uh, you, you need to speak Okay, there's something about you speaking, okay? Now, you got justice reversed. Now, what I see with this card, some of you are dealing maybe with a Libra, right? But others of you, things are still not unbalanced. Things are still not fair and just. Yes, because you got this completion. Yes, because you are manifesting. You want everything in one shot. And it doesn't happen like that. It takes time, okay? It takes time because we're... It, this type of energy is not linear energy, okay? It's... It's not linear energy. So I'm going to put this upright, not for the person itself, if this has to do with a person. No, I'm not doing it for that reason. I'm putting it upright for you to stay in your balance, okay? For you to be just, things are going to come to you just and fair. You're going to see things clearly. You're going to speak that, your mind. You're going to speak what you need to say through your throat chakra. And this is, uh, I feel here, for others of you, if you're dealing with court systems, things will be in your favor, I feel that there's people watching you on social media. They're not like watching you in a bad way. Maybe they're stalking you. Who knows? They want to see like every time you post something, they're there. Or on, you know, on Facebook or Instagram. You're being watched over. I'm getting it also as well. Why is the Four of Pentacles here for... Why is the Four of Pentacles here for Capricorns, March 2019? I really like staying in your um, um, in your energy, <laughs> Capricorns. I know that you know that. There's an ending of a difficult situation in the second week. You're not going to feel that stress that you had. You need to start focusing... On the outcome in a good way some of you are dealing with a with a cancer scorpio or pisces or this is a couple here uh if so those of you that are married that probably had a separation in the past or something happened in the past where you were separated or you went through a lot of like things that were off balance i feel there's a, a return of a return of things to go right this time for all of you so you're dealing with this type of energy cancer scorpio or pisces someone very intuitive Okay, uh, maybe you have this in your, uh, uh, sorry, in your chart. For others of you, you're dealing with this kind of, this person, like a woman or a man. Maybe this is one person altogether. This could also be talking to me, and I'll, I'll give you another way of thinking as well. This is uh, Libra Full Moon. 
the Libra full moon and uh, Mercury being in and in, in uh, Mercury being in Pisces and that's going to be with us for a while right um, you are going to be manifesting so this is the Libra new moon in Pisces you are the manifest you are the magician right now so I feel that in the second to third part of uh, March and continuing down to April you're going to come grand into what exactly you desire as well trust yourself trust your intuition do not doubt yourself you got this and I got your back as well Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Yep, there's someone coming in very quickly in the third in, in the second week, going to the third week. Um, some of you, this is again, I'm picking up very strong uh, fire energy. Uh Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Someone that's coming back. They're playful. They want to have fun. They want to talk fun. Someone that you fought in the past with, for some of you. Maybe this is a, someone that's coming back from the past for some of you. Not all of you, okay? Just remember, it's not for all of you. Just listen to my words. Some of you will be someone from the past that's coming back. Someone that there was no solutions with. That may, they made a decision. They left. There was a lot of fighting. For others of you, there is a new person coming in for you, okay? It's not for all of you. I'm going to ask one more. Oh, it came out already. You're going to take your power back in the second week of March. You're going to reclaim your power. So you're dealing with an Aries. Okay, but you are going to, it's like you're going to be financially secure. You're like the boss of your own domain. Home, uh, your work, you know where you're going. For others of you, this is also the Mars energy because Mars in the month of March is also Mars is going into something. Mars is going into, uh, I don't know, I have the date. I think it's March 28th. This is going to help you. The Mars energy, Neptune, Libra full moon. If you want the Libra, uh, if you want a moon ritual for the full moon, I have one on my website with a donation. The CMC Collective, 1111.com. I've been giving that out to all my clients for the for a very long time and never had anything said or uh, everything came out positive for everyone. For some of you, your strength is going to come back. You're going to... What's the saying? You're going to rise up like a phoenix through the ashes. <laughs> I really believe that a lot. A lot. Your health is going to get better in the third, second to third week of March. You're going to feel re rejuvenated again. So you, you, you've been working hard on yourself, Capricorn. I feel that here. Some of you are dealing with a, a Leo. Some of you are dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius, whatever. I could say all the signs because they're all here, but that's not the point of it. I really feel that you're coming into your power. There's something coming into you for you financially as well. It's about time, right, Cappies? Why is the world card here? Some of you, this has to do with a commitment or a marriage. Some of you, now I do have this a small percentage, about like three or four percent of you are uh, that went through a divorce or are getting a divorce. I feel like you got the divorce, you went through it, and then someone else came in right away it's like the ending and then then right away a new beginning started for you but for others of you there's a commitment that you want here you're going to start seeing things very clearly in the third week okay um the divine is coming in to give you clarity you almost, uh, you know, for those of you that have cancer in your uh, chart, or if you're dealing with someone that has a, was a cancer, uh, go watch the cancer video. I don't know, I just feel that there's some, some kind of resemblance here because you got the, uh, you're just missing one ace, but you got almost all the aces and you have some kind of, something here I'm, I'm picking up, okay, for some of you. 
Um, so seeing things clear, speaking your truth, your crown is back up again where it's supposed to be. Okay, and I also got the Hierophant card reversed here. So this is like, uh, you know, uh, institutions. But remember before there was this card here that was reversed and I put it upright and this card is reversed. So I'm going to put it upright for both. Whatever this commitment is towards yourself, to commitment towards a job, this could be a commitment to someone coming in for you that you've been wanting this person to come in because I, I feel it in the cards. Very positive cards. You need to work on your patience in the third week, okay? Because I feel like you want everything right away. You need to wait. Because we're in the month of March. Mercury is retrograde. Take your time. Don't, hurt, don't rush anything. Don't do anything in the month of March. I would ask you to wait till the month of April. Some of you are getting married here in the month of March. So congratulations. Okay. Now, the, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius that did not give you what you gave them, there's this here. For others of you, uh, you're giving out too much of yourself. You're giving too much out of yourself to other people and you're not receiving the same thing back. Okay, and you have to keep working on yourself, loving yourself, self-love, self-healing. You come first, Capricorn, okay? And you need to rest. You need to rest. Maybe it's just someone from, for some of you, this is someone that you took a break from, from the past. Someone that you took from the past. It could also be this as well. They're coming back. So whoever this person from the past, someone that lost, there's maybe some people that this person that uh, could be this person was very impatient. Things were not, uh, you know, whatever you were giving, they weren't giving back, okay? And you, there, there was a break. There was a break between both of you. Someone's coming back very quickly. But I'm going to take this card and I'm going to put it upright because it's the temperance card. It's such a beautiful card. Okay, and it's also Jupiter being in Sagittarius. So I'm going to put upright for the patience for you to continue that self-love. And I'm also going to take the Six of uh, Pentacles and put it upright. Whatever you're going to give, you're going to receive back. And so it is. Why is the Three of Wands here? You made a decision. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> okay. Well, this is something that you made a decision about. You're looking into your future. Okay, let me put this card here. A lover is coming back for some of you. Gemini, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. This is you, I feel. Whether you're a king or a queen, you're standing in your power. Grounded. You're doing really good. You're looking in your future. You're wondering where you're gonna go, where you're gonna what places you would like to travel, what new things you want to try, what are you gonna build on? If investments and some of you are dealing with a divine partner, aka twin flame. The archangels are bringing this. Look at this card. Okay, where the archangel is, and look at this card where the archangel is. When something is coming in that's faded, it's going to come in. You stop. You need to stop worrying about it, okay? This is a decision. Decision made. For some of you, you still have to make the decision. For others of you, you have made your decision. Why is the Knight of Swords Temperance? Why is the Knight of Swords Temperance? Six of Pentacles here. <clears throat> so I, I went back to uh, the, this person that's coming in very quickly from your past for some of you this is a person from the past 100% there's something that you are not wanting to see maybe you don't want to see it because the angels are right in your face with the messages
people change. I don't know why I had to say that, but I had to say that. You need to reevaluate everything again. You're not, you have to take the time in the third week to reevaluate whoever, whatever this message that's coming for you from someone, maybe from the past, someone that you had taken a break from, maybe recently, I don't know. But you need to reevaluate everything again. Because it's going to be victorious for you. Okay? You could be dealing again with a uh, fire energy. Or this, this is you being in your victory. So whatever the angels are trying to show you, please look at it. It's important. You have no idea <laughs> how important it is. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Show me why the Queen of Cups is here. Okay. I have two things here. For some of you, Cappies, I feel that this is your energy at the end of the month. It's an energy. Or you could be dealing with someone with this characteristic. Very intuitive. A lot of you are going to be relocating, moving, or taking a vacation. Or just moving or relocating. Or Okay, I got two messages here. For some of you. Not all of you. Okay, just listen to my message. Some of you are going to be walking away, leaving something for good. For good. Okay? And others of you, you got the Wheel of Fortune, but it's reversed. This is a second chance. For some of you, you're wanting a second chance with someone. You're wanting a chance with someone. There's a rebirth that's taking place for you with this person. Huge transformation. If this has to do with someone that is a fire energy, Leo, uh, uh, Aries, or Sagittarius, it doesn't have to be, okay? But uh, because all the signs are here. For others of you, this has to do with luck being on your side, monetary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse this upright. And I'm going to give you that wheel of fortune where this has to do with money, whether this has to do because you need that money to move or relocate, okay? And I feel like a lot of you will find your passion back at the end of March. Passion. You're going to be so much in love with yourself, so much passion from you. You're going to be so creative. But this is I'm going to put this upright for you, Capricorn. So And so it is, okay? You will, you will need time in the month of March. For those of you who might be dealing with a Virgo. But you will need time in the month of March to go within yourself. You really need to go within yourself. You really need to maybe take time out from people and just stay within your bubble. Okay? Stay within your bubble. Because your answers are all there. You're going to see things clearly. Every, the divine is coming in to give you passion, to give you monetary, to give you truth. Love, justice is here for you, okay? Health is here for you. Victory is here for you. Long-term stability. You got it. So you don't need to worry, okay? Because worry is like a fear that is not there. You're feeding an illusion. Instead, just focus on what you want. And doing a new moon ritual will help you to do that too. Writing things down. What do you want? Do it long-term. Not right now, just in the month of March. April, June, July, August. Okay? So, for some of you, completion of a home, getting married, coming in together, joyful, happiness. I see this happening for you. For those of you that are coupled, that went through hell. There's something that's... Really, there's a second chance here for stability, for commitment. It's up to you. It's free will, right? The sun is shining on this big time. The sun is shining on this. Okay. Um, whenever the sun shines, everything, you feel better. Everybody needs, like the flowers need the sun to grow, to bloom. So do we. Okay. And so Jupiter is coming in to help you with this. Okay. Maybe it's a completion of a home. 11-11. Others of you, this is a twin flame journey. It's coming. 
okay? And this, uh, whatever this page of pentacles is reversed, I'm going to put it upright. Some of you, this could be you uh, offering. Maybe you, you are waiting to get an apology. Maybe there's an offering that you have to do to someone as well. Maybe, okay? For others of you, this is an offer that's coming in if you're waiting for a job or a promotion or something. All the answers are within you. And, uh, and a lot of the times is that you, the Virgo card is like you're in the unknown. So you're in the unknown. And there's not, sometimes you can't know everything. Because then it would, life would be pretty boring if you would know your every step and what you have to do and what you have not to do. The stars, the universe, God itself is has your back. And you really have nothing to worry about, is what I see here. Why is it nine of cups here? Okay, a lot of you are uh, having fears in the last week. Maybe things are happening, you, okay? Or uh, you're dealing with a Cancer, you're dealing with a Pisces. I believe this has to do with a Pisces new moon, okay? This is something that happened in the, in the past. You got a tower moment in the past, okay? And since like, that tower moment that happened in the past, you've been like uh, going through every obstacle, fighting your way through it, okay? Maybe this is you yourself you're fighting with yourself for some of you i'm gonna ask another question here some of you you're keeping to yourself you're not telling people anything for others of you there's an energy here of someone stealing something from you you have fears about this person fears of standing up to this person let me ask for one more question here. Oops. For others, of, you need to speak your truth. That's I, This is very strong here. It shows me. Okay. There's going to be celebration for you. You have to find solutions to whatever this situation is. Some of you could be dealing with, again, a, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. There's someone here that is uh, hiding from you, hiding stuff from you, trying to get away with someone, something, someone that was immature, someone that caused you major pain. This is the ending of a situation. New beginnings will start. Saturn in Capricorn, you are coming back to your power. You need to stand up and take back your power. Whatever it is. Because I will see celebration. Abundance coming in. If you've been working on yourself. A project. Abundance coming in. Some of you. There's going to be celebration with a mother. Father figure here. Family. But for others of you. This pregnancy. Okay. You will have. Some of you will come to me. I know. Yes. I'm. You know, at the end of the, of the of March going into April, that there's pregnancy here for some of you. For those of you that could have babies, dream big. Dream big, Cappy. Big, 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 as much as you can. Because it's coming in for you. The vine is bringing you passion. It's coming back. Something of you being creative, successful, into your money. Grounded. You could have it all. Stop feeling like this. This does not serve you. You cannot be in this kind of a magician with this. It doesn't go together. You need to be grateful for what you have. Write a gratitude list. I know you're grateful for what you have, but write a gratitude list. Look at the blessings in your life. You need to get away from that pattern and way of thinking. Wait a second. Why is the five of cups here? I just want to ask one more question. Divine timing is here for you. You've been seeing the signs. Some of you are going back into the past. This could be about your brother, your sister, your family. This could be about childhood memories. These two cards were reversed. 
I put them upright. These two cards were reversed. I put them upright for you. There's something that you're wanting to come in. It's coming slowly, but it's coming in. Divine timing is here. The past. Let go of this. And the next three cards here you go is this is a a lot of you are going through completions as well. This is in the month of April, you're gonna be feeling tired. Or for others of you, you're showing it like this is what I've been through and I had enough. For others of you, you're blocking someone, you're not sleeping at night. I'm gonna reverse this card for you to sleep like a baby. Okay, Cappy. And the two of wands, something online you're probably going to be working on. Some of you are picking up the pieces and moving forward with your life. And you're tr if you're trying to figure out where am I going to go now? I want to do so many things. Then go and do it in April. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed your reading. Now, for those of you that are not staying for the Oracle cards, Oracle cards I'll see you in the month of April. And for those of you that are staying with, with me here, Let's move on to your um, oracle cards. Okay. Okay. So for those of you that chose the pointed rose quartz with the romance angels, forgiving and learning. <coughs> As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Some of you I need to forgive and let go. And learn from the experience okay everybody makes mistakes we're not all perfect and so by releasing or forgiving the situation you could free yourself others of you attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully stay in the moment and enjoy life like smell the roses you see the, wo the woman is smelling the roses and there's a man here looking at her and he falls in love with her beauty self-confidence and retreat some of you will need to retreat it's time to disconnect from the world for those that are married and for others of you that are just you know maybe uh find that weekend to get away and disconnect close your phone and disconnect from the world for those of you that chose deck number two with amethyst and ask angels it says look for a sign the next card you got is Take action. And the third card you got is big happy changes. It's coming for you. Good luck with that. For those of you that chose the flat rose quartz with the keepers of light, you got Mother Mary. Oh my God. She's so beautiful. Look at this. You got the energy of Mother Mary there. You have nothing to fear. And it says love and peace. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. Very beautiful. You got Mercury. Your throat chakra. Open communication. Get a weight off your chest. Speak up with love and be heard. I love these cards. They're so beautiful. Iasis. Maybe some of you will. Um... You portray your energy. Magic manifestation, ma manifesting. Magic manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. Stay focused on the outcome. Positive. For those of you that chose the clear quartz with Archangel Raphael, you got relationship. Dear Archangel Raphael. Oh, well, I'm going to show you the card after. Thank you for healing and guiding all my relationships upon the path of love. Look how beautiful that is. Next card you got is use your natural healing abilities. Use your natural healing abilities. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for clearly guiding, encouraging, and supporting my healing work. And the last card you got is increased energy. I wish I did feel that. And it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for filling me with the unlimited energy of divine love and light. Look how beautiful. That's so beautiful. You're going to start feeling better, Capricorn. I'm so happy. And for those of you that chose the Black Obsidian with uh, Archangel Michael, the first card you got is Let Go of Fear Now. And look at that, the Ace of Swords. <laughs> and look, 
Look, your third eye. <laughs> it's beautiful. Your prayer is, Archangel Michael, please help me feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic, or ego-based thoughts or feelings. Amen. Next card is, go forward furiously. Go forward furiously. He's so beautiful. Your prayer is, thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage, and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. Amen. And so it is. And the next card you got is, focus upon divine and perfect health. Your prayer is, God and, and God and Archangel Michael, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being. Well, amen to that, and so it is. Please comment, share, like, view, and um, leave me your comments, Cappies. I, I can't wait to hear from you. Let me know what's going on in your life. I read each and every one of them every day so i'm always looking forward to cappies you take care you know that i love you bye